hello everyone welcome to EZDU and today we are going to solve this numerical this numerical is from the second year physics book according to the numerical the sodium surface is illuminated with light of wavelength 300 nanometer the work function for sodium is 2.46 electron volt uh, and we will determine the kinetic energy of the ejected electron and the cutoff wavelength for the sodium atom now from the given data we know that the wavelength is given in nanometer we have wavelength which is denoted by lambda is equal to 300 nanometer we have converted this 300 nanometer into just meter which is 3.0 multiplied 10 power minus 7 meter now we know the value of Planck's constant which is 6.63 multiplied 10 power minus 34 joule second and this Planck's constant can also be expressed in term of electron volt and the value of Planck's constant in electron volt is 4.1357 multiplied 10 power minus 15 electron volt second. Now the work function is given as 2.46 electron volt and work function is actually the minimum energy required for the ejection of electron for a surface of metal or uh, any other atom. Now we are going to determine the kinetic energy of the ejected electron. From the photoelectric effect we know that the kinetic energy is equal to h mu minus work function. This h is the Planck's constant and this mu represents the frequency. Now this frequency term mu is equal to c by lambda. By replacing this frequency term by c by lambda, we will get the kinetic energy is equal to hc by lambda minus work function. Now for determining the value of kinetic energy, we just need to substitute the value for Planck's constant, speed of light, wavelength and work function. Here the value of the work function is given in electron volt. So we will substitute the value of Planck's constant which is given in electron volt second. If we substitute the value of Planck's constant which is given in joule second then we will need to convert this, this work function into joules and we will also get the kinetic energy in joules. But here we need the value of kinetic energy in electron volt so we will substitute the value of Planck's constant which is given in electron volt second. By substituting the value for Planck's constant, speed of light, wavelength and work function and solving we will finally get the kinetic energy 1.676 electron volt. Here in the calculation section we have just cancelled this 3 with this 3 and this 10 power minus 15 multiplied by 10 power 8 will become 10 power minus 7. By shifting this minus 7 to the upside we will have 10 power minus 7 plus 7 we will have 10 power 0 and 10 power 0 is equal to 1. So we will have 4.1357 electron volt minus 2.46 electron volt and finally we will get the kinetic energy 1.676 electron volt. Now for calculating the cutoff wavelength for sodium, the work function is given which is 2.46 electron volt. Using this work function we can easily determine the cutoff wavelength. This work function is actually energy and that energy we know is equal to hc by lambda. Now by solving this equation for wavelength we will get lambda is equal to hc by work function. Now by substituting the values for Planck's constant speed of light and wavelength and solving we will get 5.0423 multiplied 10 power minus 7 meter. The wavelengths are usually expressed in nanometers so we will convert this 5.0423 multiply 10 power minus 7 meter into nanometer. By converting this to nanometer we will get 504.23 nanometer. And this is the required cutoff wavelength. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe easy for more videos.